a lot of shot shot dam zone so this is the uh, what I've done I've measured about uh, 1.2 kilos of it then uh, I washed it and I added uh, around uh, yeah 120 grams 100 gram a milliliter of water and I boiled brought it to boil then gently uh, putting on the lowest gas uh, after boiling and then I try to by pressing against the wall of the pot just to make the stones separate then I will remove the stones and add the same amount 1.2 kilos 1.2 kilo of the jam of the um, Shropshire Damson prune and then I will add 1.2 kilogram of sugar also uh, you can use a uh, non-bleached uh, brown sugar, cane sugar, or just use normal white one which is bleached. Uh, they just make it white by bleaching. So you can use any any of them. The color, look at the colors, how beautiful it is. And this can be at this stage you can use it for making leather. You can uh, you know I've not added sugar yet, so you can make a leather uh, from it, fruit leather spread in a tray and let it dry or you can make a what they call it plum cheese or damson cheese that's a very dense thick uh, kind of marmalade thingy or after all the sugar added and all the stones removed you can just extract the juice of it the juice of it will be a syrup and uh, whatever remains the pulp will be the conserve or preserve preserve actually yeah and you can use it in this way. So this is what we are doing now. What a beautiful red color. I'll show you something. The damson, the skin of it is this color, bluish red probably. The flesh of it, oh so delicious. The flesh of it is yellow. But this red color I think it comes from the skin. Mmm. Anyway, I'll show you the recipe, how to make this. Can I stop the video any moment just to look at the recipe? And because it's a damn zone and plums, that pectin enough in, in them, you don't need actually adding any pectin. Pectin is kind of or if you want you can buy sugar with the added pectin or you can just buy pectin add to it or you can use things like gooseberry or blackcurrant sorry gooseberry or like apple or anything that they have pectin naturally pectin you can add it to this they call the juice of the the sherbet syrup you make from the sharpshire nanzum the philosophers the philosophers syrup it means it's such a such a high quality syrup if you make uh, extract the juice I mean uh, we can sieve it or you can throw a flan flannel or to a muslin just re uh, remove the juice and use the juice separately and keep the pulp as a for the preserve and jam now I've added the uh, sugar 1.2 kilos remove the stones before adding the sugar and uh, dissolve it, remove it from the heat, dissolve the sugar and now put it back on the heat I bring it to the boil then uh, leave it for 10 minutes and uh, I will also stir it at the same time just to make sure that it will not burn and then after that I can uh, um, remove the scum, pot and seal by the way the name of the book that is the recipe from is how to store your own your homegrown produce by John and Val Harrison. Okay, I've now brought it to boil, and uh, okay, it's uh, um, it has a good amount of syrup, so I want to separate the syrup and make a preserve separate from the what doesn't pass through the sieve and we use a sieve for separation of syrup from the pulp 
and whatever passes through the sieve I will use it as a syrup. And you see the froth. Usually they say to you boil it until that uh, it gets thick. And you may burn it that way actually. <laughs> so I don't want to do that. I need syrup. So I want to have syrup separately. So when I come home I can make a cordial syrup kind of thingy. Add some ice to a glass of water. Add the, some of it, uh, some of the syrup to the glass. Glass of water and ice and just stir it and enjoy. This is the best natural drink you can have. And it's made of Shropshire Damson. Okay, now with the ladle, I'm separating the syrup from the dense part of it. And what is remaining on top will be our preserve or jam. And the syrup will gather under it. That will be our syrup or cordial. So, if we continue like As that. you see, I'm separating them when the, uh, the syrup, the jam, is yet hot. So the cordial is gathering under it, and the preserve or jam is on, in here. And when they cool, they get dense and it's a little bit more uh, viscous. So at the moment, it's the best time. Okay, I'm now near the end of this. We have this amount of jam, this amount of syrup. And I have separated some of it for tasting. I tasted it. I tell you, this is the best jam I've ever eaten. <laughs> That's, oh God. These shop bought jams, they add a lot of vinegar to it and there's citric acid. But look at it. Mm, divine. <laughs> the best jam. Shropshire dams and prune. Mmm. Ah. And it's hot yet. <laughs> when it gets cool, it's. It will be amazing. <laughs> I wanted to go to Shropshire and buy in the damson season. I made it myself from allotment. What was? Ah, I would lick that. Finish the plate. <laughs> so, so beautiful. It's sweet. It has that fruity, slightly fruity acidness. Not acid. I cannot describe it. That fruity taste. That plummy taste. That damsony taste of the Shropshire damson. It's such a good thing. From the main pot, I've separated the syrup and the preserve or jam. Uh, it took less than one hour. The biggest part of it, half an hour, was just removing the stones. And I may do something with these stones. They're too nice to be left on their own. And uh, you can make a paste actually. Just uh, uh, put it in a plastic, gradually suck it from that little plastic. Uh, one corner of it, just it's, it doesn't have any sugar, it's just natural fruit. Uh, kids like that actually. And uh, this is lovely, this is the best jam ever. And this syrup <laughs> makes me proud looking at it. And okay, I have to go and now wash before that, I'll just leak all of this. It took less than one hour, all of this. With the fruit which was harvested about 10 days ago. And you can see how it looks. Yeah. I have kept one punnet of the Shropshire Damson, Jan, uh, Shropshire Damson prune just to eat it fresh. And you hear that people say, oh, measure this temperature, measure that, pectin, all this. I never bothered with that. Just get sure that it doesn't burn. My mom always used to do like this. Make sure it doesn't burn. That's it. Your, your syrup will be ready and your jam or preserve will be ready and the rest of it you can just put ready to. Just make sure it doesn't burn. That's okay. It. Now cordial and jams are ready. I will go for a test drive of the cordial. Add 
few eyes. Okay, I'm going to taste it. Ah, design. <laughs> Divine, I should say. <laughs> Why? That's beautiful. They call it the philosopher of the syrups. So true. 